So here we have the Ford Grand C-Max on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors. Currently all seven seats are in place. This is the amount of boot space you have as a seven seater. It's very easy to fold these rear seats down. Just lift that red tab and push the seat away from you. Same on the other side. And you can now see what it's like as a five seater for boot space. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we've got the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And above that, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 13,946. To the right-hand side of that, it will show you what gear this car is currently in as it's an automatic. It's highlighting P for park at the moment. You can change the information displayed in the main screen by using buttons on the steering wheel for various different bits of trip computer information, or you can have that digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using just a moment ago are here, beneath which we've got cruise control and speed limiter. Over on the right-hand side, we've got stereo controls and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. So hit that button, Ask it to dial anyone in your contacts list and it'll do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. There it is, of course, once you've paired the phone up and that is done over on the touch screen here. Hit pair phone. Search for sync on your device and select sync once it is found. And then follow those instructions on screen from there. When it comes to uh, music in this car, there's plenty of ways to listen to it. They're accessed down in that bottom left hand corner. You can see on the left hand side it shows we have AM, FM and DAB radio, a CD player, USB input, Bluetooth audio, SD memory card input and auxiliary input. So as I say, plenty of ways to listen to your music. This car's got satellite navigation as well. There's a full video showing how that works on both our website and Facebook page. So below that we have the dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger and driver temperatures independently. Fan speed up and down from here determine where you'd like the air to be distributed and then hit that button to turn the air conditioning in this case off or back on again or you can hit auto and the car will now take control of where the air goes and the fan speed to maintain the temperatures that you want and you can hear it doing that in the background now to override that simply readjust the fan speed accordingly below that we have this button just here. This is for the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which will save you fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. We then have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. The plus and minus on the side just here is so that you can change up and down your gear manually should you wish to. And then below that, we have a 12 volt charging socket. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.